Good morning, everyone. We've got quite a bit of weather to talk about, especially for this weekend and changes in the forecast for New Jersey, considering just how sunny it was supposed to be just a few days ago. Forecast has now taken a very gray and pretty wet turn for us here, and it's all due to Helene. So there's the hurricane now spinning in the Gulf of Mexico, moving northward at a very fast clip and expected to gain even more strength before it makes landfall in the Florida Panhandle later on tonight, likely Cat 3 borderline Cat 4 storm there just south of Tallahassee moving inland and even over Atlanta still maintaining its hurricane strength as it does so. That's why that uh, shade of dark orange extends all the way through Georgia. Those are the hurricane warnings that will likely uh, give places well inland all of that heavy rain as well as wind. So the Water temperatures of the Gulf of Mexico are basically bathtub water. It is very warm, and that's allowing for the storm to strengthen so rapidly. Look at the future cast showing all of the heavy rain staying over the Midwest, and we get clipped with some of that wet weather here in the Garden State by the end of the weekend. So it takes some time for those remnant rains of Helene to arrive here, but I think by Sunday we'll definitely feel that. Even some impressive waves, meaning some storm surge along the coast down in Florida, and also the east coast due to all of those winds there along the Carolinas and you can see just how gusty those winds will be as the storm pushes inland overnight tonight into tomorrow morning. So the wind won't really be an issue for us, but you can kind of see how all many of those models take the storm over to the west. A few take it a little further east. Regardless, we get some pretty wet weather by the end of this weekend. There is another system to watch out in the Atlantic, and that's that red area you see with a high chance of development working over the next few days. Something to watch over here as we, uh, we bring it back home. Temperatures this morning, cool, but it's muggy. You feel the mugginess up toward Hackensack and Newark, 70 degrees, even down toward Atlantic City, 73. The dew point or the amount of moisture in the air is, well, quite humid, especially with these dew points reading around 70, which is downright unusually humid for the dry fall season. A lot of clouds around, and these clouds stick around for the better part of today into tomorrow, with another round of rain expected later on this evening. Today's forecast keeps the air quality good, and that's primarily due to the easterly breeze, but the weekend weather looks rather gray. More clouds than sun, if any. We'll generally call it overcast at times, and then with those scattered showers, especially by the time we get to Sunday. We'll give you more details on what to expect for the rest of the forecast period coming up as the New Jersey Morning Show continues.